You know, maybe my subconscious was doing this. Maybe the reason why I haven't uh, put this video out, it's taken me pretty much a week because a lot of this information came out last week and a couple little nuggets during the week. Maybe, maybe the reason why is because after this, we're probably not going to get any more news regarding the Batman for quite a while. Matt? Can you just release the, the test image of Zoe Kravitz in the Catwoman outfit? Be swell. What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Yes, guys, I apologize. I haven't gotten this video out because it's just everything that happened last week. And, oh, it's been kind of a struggle. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I got everything. I mean, because everything's kind of all over the place. You know how it is. You know, you have updates and then you just have multiple articles. I mean, I have like f three tabs, four tabs open of stuff. And I just wanted to cover as much as I uh, found of uh, Matt Reeves updating us on what's happening with the Batman. First things first, I guess a crew member actually uh, got COVID and died. Got COVID-19, got the coronavirus and died. Um, that's what I was uh, reading. I'm, I When I saw that, I was like, whoa, that's that kind of sucks. I mean... It's sad fact of the matter is, I mean, you're in a, you have a big crew, bunch of people, you're out and about. It just sucks. I just wonder, like, when everything gets kicked back into gear, I mean, what, they're going to have a lot of precautions. You're going to see a lot of, you know, when it's, the set is happening, you're going to see a lot of people with, like, just masks on, gloves on. They're going to be doing that whole nine. It's just, uh, it's going to be crazy. One of the questions being, is it an origin tale? And uh, he said, no, it's not an origin tale. He said right here, I wanted to not do an origin tale, but a tale that would still acknowledge his origins and that it formed who he is. Like this guy, he's majorly struggling, and this is how he's trying to rise above the struggle. But that doesn't mean that he fully understands, you know? It's uh, that whole idea of the shadow self and what's driving you and how much of you that you incorporate and how much of your doing and what you are doing is basically you're unaware of. So that's kind of cool. I mean, we've seen that in other iterations of Batman. I mean, look at look at even like the recent one, Batfleck. Was he aware of what he was doing, going off on this like tantrum and not really giving a shit? Even Alfred was like, what the fuck, dude? He also talks about the other Batman movies. This is a quote right here. He says, I also felt like there have been some great Batman movies and I didn't want to just do a Batman movie. I wanted to do a Batman movie that could be different. Of course, that's what every filmmaker should strive to have to be and everything. And you know, not everybody's going to like it. doesn't mean that we have to directly shit on camera tests. He was also asked about Christopher Nolan's trilogy and then, of course, do billionaire superheroes work? I mean, I guess, what, the last billionaire superhero that is now dead, I guess now it's like, do they still work? I mean, I, I kind of get that because of the political climate we're in and everybody just hates billionaires now. This is what he had to say right here. He said, to me, that's the joy of working with it, to use those surface elements of it and you uh, can explore them in a way that I feel that haven't been explored yet. Nolan had a brilliant take on them and so did Burton. Everybody Everybody has a particular take. For me, I knew that I would be coming into a history of pretty great Batman movies. Pretty great, you know, that I, I added the Batman. I didn't want to just do a Batman film. I wanted to do a Batman film where I allowed to explore the things that mattered to me. I was really lucky that they were excited about that take. That's what I wonder, like, what was his pitch? full-on pitch and I mean I know the noir thing and everything so I guess that's where they really grabbed him I mean he probably just put long Halloween and uh dark victory and him in year one just put it on the table like there you go all those aspects you're talking about they all fit within a context the movie that we're making which is now on pause is absolutely made in the context of today see a lot of people are wondering does it take place in modern day now we have our answer because we're iffy is it early 2000s late 90s it says HD right there it doesn't ignore any of that I think that becomes incredibly exciting. It's like in uh, any great tale that you can um, keep revisiting through the context of the times and also through the context of human experience and find new ways to come at the character that illuminates something that's meaningful to you and hopefully meaningful to the audience. So there you go. I'm liking everything he has to say. Modern day tale, still a billionaire. I'm sure he's going to have to struggle with like, I don't know, people just 
you know, hating him, you know, people in certain facets of the political political spectrum, I guess so. I also like what he said right here. He said, uh, we're not officially editing right now. This is talking about, you know, being on pause. We've actually shot a quarter of the movie, so a quarter of the movie has been shot. It's like, oh, just, just release some images. And I have been pouring through dailies, looking at takes, and what's to come. It took me two years to work on that story, and it's very specific mystery noir that's been really thought out by me and my partners. And that's what I love about it. That's what I love the fact of the bout. And then he said, of course, um, uh, wondering when filming will continue and when they'll return. He says, it's way too early to say. I, mean, I, I can't imagine we, won't, we wouldn't finish in London. The situation is fluid. So he's sitting there just waiting to see what happened. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much what I gathered. Um, I don't know if there was any. It doesn't seem like there was anything else. It seemed like it was just like an update on the progress and what was going on. I'm just saying, man, just, I mean, at least Zoe Kravitz in the Catwoman outfit. Come on! Just to satisfy us Batman nerds, us, uh, you know, just anything. That'd be kind of cool, but I'm sure he's going to wait for that. But you never know. You never know. I could, we could wake up tomorrow, and there there she is in the Catwoman costume. And in a, in a, in just like the uh, doing the camera test, that would be fucking fantastic. be excellent. So there you go, guys. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. And of course, too, uh, I have my Battenson bat shirt. It's down below if you want to get it. They're available uh, to purchase. And uh, yeah, so go with that. And uh, hopefully you enjoy that. I have mine. I like it. It's it's pretty decent. So there you go, guys. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. It's filmjunkie.com for all my content. Follow me on the Sockmans over there. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Patreon down below if you want to help out. And of course, shirts as well. All right.